Okay, so episode three, guys. Three. It is um, the beginning of March, and so I thought I would um, do a month recap on what the hell is going on. Yeah. <clears throat> it has been just insane for our businesses, like, and not in a good way. Um in our personal lives and just so much just and I'm pretty sure it's like law of attraction come in and play here and I'm not too sure why we are attracting all of this craziness right now but I thought I would pop on here and um show you like even though I'm going through some crap right now I try to find the good it's hard really like ridiculously hard and um so we we have um each one of these is going to have like a crazy little story to go behind it so just don't just stick with me so we had our website through another like you know small you know company in like my father-in-law had done it and you know at least it was a website and it was it was there and we had switched over to um you know at an actual company that she built the website for me and um i figured you know once my subscription for g suite or it's now it's like google workshop or whatever rebranding they they have now um i was going to once that expired I was going to switch it over to um, what we're using now. And I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. And nobody told me that that was technically illegal. There was no, you know, like, whatever. Like, this website offers, you can sign up for free with Google Workshop. And I was like, okay, so I'll just wait for that to expire and I'll sign up for that and then just keep going with it. Well, little did I know... A week ago, our email went down. And the only reason I knew it, I hadn't even logged in yet that day. The only reason why I knew it was a customer had called and said, hey, I tried to email, or it was like a person that we've been working with, you know, hey, you know, I tried to email you and email's down. And you know, oh, that's weird. Okay, no big deal. I'm not a genius in the IT world, but I, I'm, I'm okay. And so I figured I could figure it out and I'm, playing with it and playing with it and playing with it and I can't figure it out. I'm like, what the heck? So, and then everything sourcing back to Weebly. Contact Weebly. Get with Weebly. I'm like, okay, if I disable Weebly, knock out that account, it should just shut it down and I should be able to go back over here. Or at least it should go back to Google, right? Like, it's my email. The emails in it are very important stuff. All of the back and forth with everybody. What the heck? So this goes on for a week. I have not had a company email for a week. Do you realize how much stuff I do in there? Now, like, I'm going to start backing stuff up and putting things where they need to go. But I had to contact you know, them and get with them and work with them and just this, so how to make a, make an account, because this one's disabled, how to make an account to, you know, contact them to get a code to be able to get into a chat room, just the silliest stuff just to get an email from one place to another, right? So I had to make a make an account and then I had to, you know, she's like, oh, it's fine. Okay, I've reactivated. Just log in. And it's like, crap, I forgot my freaking password. Like I just changed it the other day to disable the account. Like, okay. And then you get in there and then she, she sends me a fake or a, not a fake. She sends me a temporary password. I get in there. She's like, okay, you need to reassign the email that's on the account to another email. Okay, cool. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to send you an email of what specifically you need to email back to me. Basically, I had authorized them to send 
my email account back to Google. And then I had to pay Google to use Google. I couldn't go through my provider now because since it's already been, a, you know, created, I had to do this new with the new company. I can't connect old ones. Nobody's ever told me that. Nobody said crap to me about that. I never read it anywhere. I've been Googling for days of how to do this, how to reconnect, how to figure it out. All the while, I can't access anything in my emails. And Ryan's be like, hey, you remember that guy? And like, yeah, his contact information's in my email. Like, Ryan's my husband, by the way. Um, so it's like, I can't do anything, right? I finally get it back up today. And it was one of those moments where it's like, <sighs> it's so simple. It shouldn't be that complicated. And there should be disclaimers. There should be disclaimers. Hey, once you buy it here, if you want to take it elsewhere, this is what you're going to have to do. And nowhere in there did they ever say that. So this is why today I'm drinking because it's taken me a stupid amount of time today to just access it. And I can't even, can't even open the pop top. I got a, I got a nail and I usually use my thumbnail to pop open <laughs> drinks. And so I'm struggling. It's literally the struggle bus right now. Okay, so here we go. So this is Downey Cider. I, um, we found this place in Boston. We had gone to, um, we had gone to a Marine show up in um, Connecticut and we flew into, we flew into Boston or no. Yeah. We flew into Boston and then we drove over to Connecticut and we, we had stopped in like the ho the, not the hotel, the, the airport. And we had found this and I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so great. We definitely, so it's like we flew into Boston, drove over to Connecticut for a couple of days, stayed at the casino there and then drove back and stayed in Boston for a couple of days. And I was like, when we're in Boston, we have to go here. And like, I am a cider fan, but like, this is unfiltered and it's, and it's amazing. Like, I mean, you would think that an unfiltered cider would just kind of be like, oh, it just tastes like I bit into a rotten apple, but no, it's, it's legit. And, um, I can't remember what the, I was trying to find the alcohol content on here, but it's like, I don't know. But anyways, Downey Ciders, Boston, Massachusetts check it out. Cheers to getting my email back up and running today. <sighs> the other technology issue that I'm having, Instagram. So the comp, you know, Ocean Eagle, Hampshire Starters, um, is our company, a little, little plug there in case you're in the Hampshire Rose area in Virginia. So the company was started with it was <laughs> my father-in-law, his wife at the time, my husband, I believe there was one, one other person, but anyways, he got out. They brought this other guy in, Kent, to answer the phones. Kent set up this Instagram account at some point in time, but he didn't use the company email. He used his personal email or his personal cell phone. I got the last two digits of the cell phone and I can't get access to it at Hampton Roads Charters. And, and to top it off, so if you check out that, it's got the wrong price per person on there because it's so old. Like, and so I'm going through the steps. I just want to talk to a person. Like, that's all. Like, that's the the consensus of, I just want to talk to a freaking person. Like, I guess that's a thing of the past now. <sighs> no, I get all excited. Like, I just got to calm down. Like, it just... <sighs> so, I'm trying to get 
a contact so I can call them or email them or get in a chat and you go through these like steps or there's like a frequently asked questions thing and I'm like that doesn't apply to me that doesn't apply with me I know that none of these things it's like I didn't just forget the email I don't know the email and then I get to the section of oh, okay well could it be intellectual property and I'm like yes that is my stuff with the wrong information I need to get that shut down like shut it down so I can get in there but no it's like okay well if it's intellectual property then you have to be trademarked or copyrighted and it's like we are the teeny tiniest business ever like we had one boat like we you know we now have two like that's not a thing we we don't probably should maybe if I go ahead and just get that copyrighted and trademarked and get that over with and then I can contact Instagram and get our stuff on board. So if you are an IT genius and you know exactly what I need to do to get this straight, please contact me. Info at chaoticcompass.com. Thank you. So frustrating. It's like all all the technology is fighting me and it's like I can't I can't hey husband help me. Oh no this is the guy that struggles to get his email pulled up on the computer. It's like talking to, like, my grandma. Like, I don't know how to, you know, like, or better yet, like, Ryan's grandma. Love her to death. She is so precious. But she's like, can you help me, you know, pull up my camera? And it's like, Lord, child. It's like on her home screen and it's like mid-made simple and you can't make it any simpler and the poor thing is just struggling. That's my husband. It's like whenever, you know, because he calls, like, my kids call my mom Nana. So it's Nana and Pops. That's my parents. And then Ryan's grandparents are Nana and Pop, which is so funny. But anyway, so, hit you know, Ryan's Nana, you know, with the computer issue or the phone issues and it's like she's like hey ryan can't oh like, no 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 let me help you because he's just gonna make it worse don't do that <laughs> like <sighs> and then the other issue we're having right now i like i feel like this is just one of those like video diaries where i could just like word bomb and all of these things and i'm gonna feel better and i know that i'm not because it's like what's gonna make me feel better is to get these things fixed well it's like i got the email fixed but these other things it's going to take a while. So we, with our, with our boat, our head boat, it's, you know, we have to pull it out of the water every year, once a year, um, to get the Coast Guard to inspect it. And just, it stresses me out to just hang on. To get it inspected. It's an inspected Coast Guard vessel. It's serious stuff. So we have to, we can't put it in like, if I'm going above your head, you just give it a little go or mute me. I don't know. But the normal way to do it is called a travel lift. And you put slings under a boat and then you lift it up and then you pull it out of the water. Well, because one, our boat is so long and two, she's wooden and old and she don't like it. So we put her on a railway. It's literally a railroad goes into the water you bring like these little like cradle things down cradle the boat and then just kind of haul her out it's a lot gentler she likes it better well the place that we have been using for this is like the consensus okay it's like we'll find a place and then they break because like nobody uses railways anymore 1700s old technology so we find a place and their stuff will break it's like brick well, that's what's happened. We found a great place and we've got a great relationship and they really, really like to work with us and we really like them and their stuff is broken. They're like, yeah, we can't get this fixed until it, the water warm up and, and we can get a diver in there. It's like, I'm not a genius, but I'm pretty sure that there's wetsuits and it's like, you know, it's not Alaska. It's Virginia waters, but whatever, whatever you say. So we're on the mad hunt for a, a railway. And it's like, we're just, we find one and they want to charge us $85 a, a foot, which is astronomical for a 65 foot headboat. And then 
they want to do, they won't let us do any of the work. It's, you know, it's just paying the bottom. And they're just going to charge us astronomical. So unfortunately that's not going to work out. And, um, you know, looks like a great yard and it's, it's in Deltaville and really nice. And unfortunately it's not going to work. And so now we are on the hunt for another place. So we've, we found a couple of contenders and one is, you know, maybe a couple hour boat ride, you know, a 45 minute drive from where we're at. And you know, that hopefully that'll work out. We're supposed to meet with them tomorrow. But the other one I found, and this is how rare railways, I, keep, I have a hard time saying it, railways are. The other one I found is in Beaufort, North Carolina, which is like a four hour drive, but I'm pretty sure to bring the boat all the way down there. I mean, she does not go fast. She is not a fast boat. Uh, probably be like a 20, 24 hour boat ride. Plus, plus, then I've got to get my crew down there to be able to work on her. So it's like all this travel time and hotels and food and. Hey, if y'all know where a railway is here, maybe in Virginia or, you know, somewhere closer than Beaufort, North Carolina, Maryland, Delaware, let me know. Marine Railway. So that's my other struggle. And then, um, my other one is we have a, um, we had a contract at the end of December and for a part of January with a guy and, um, he has not paid us for it. It's like $20,000 worth of work. And so we've had to contact our lawyer and we have a court date at the end of this month. And it's like, okay. <laughs> We're $20,000 in debt. Like on, okay. So if I like really think about it right now, it's like that's the one we have to take the court, but like, so I've got like $20,000 with him. I've got $30,000 with another company. I've got $10,000 for this customer that we're rebuilding engines and putting him in his boat and done a lot of work on his boat. And then the IRS still owes me from 2019's taxes. That's like over $11,000. So I've got like all of this money, just like it's bad. And I'm thinking, okay, it can't get worse. And then it's like, shut up, Stephanie. Just shut up. Shut up. Just, it keeps getting worse. It does. It keeps getting worse. I've got this, all this negative energy. And it's like, I keep trying to stay positive. I'm like, at least I got a roof over my head. We have food in our house. We have power. I've got, you know, I've got a laptop. I've got a light. I'm talking to a computer. Like, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It will. It will. It will get better. Keep having to say that over and over again, numerous times. And I'm trying, trying really hard <laughs> to not have massive anxiety. But like, even just talking about this and it's like, oh God, Lord, oh God. Just talking about this. It's like, like I can't even concentrate in meditation. Like, I don't know if you guys do that. I try to at least once a week do like, just kind of center, reclaim my thoughts. Usually I try to do it at the beginning of the week to try to like get my thoughts together, kind of just come back to here. Cause usually, you know, I'm all out here and then focus on what, you know, the week needs to, what I need the week to do for me. Even in meditation now, I'm having a hard time like focusing because I'm just so like, I can't just, I can't sit still because like, there's so much to do. There's so many things. And I'm like, I'm stuck in all of the areas and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to not lose my shit. <sighs> keep breathing, just keep breathing and but I keep coming back to the, I, I am in this place, but this is my only job. Last year I was 
was doing all of these things, you know, answering the phones and doing invoicing and, and all of the things. Plus working a real job, quote, quote, like, you know, all of the things that entail a prop, you know, property, <laughs> God, just project is the word that I'm looking for. And I'm struggling so hard with all of the words. Like I keep coming up with like random, even my kids are like, what are you doing? Like what? It's just like my brain is just, it's fried. I'm pretty sure. Like I just need to, I'm not doing this job and a real job. This is my job now. And I'm so thankful that I don't have to do both because I know I would have lost my shit. I know that I would have been in a psych ward for real, y'all. Like, this is driving me insane with all of these little bitty things plus, like, big things. And I just, I can't get anything off of my plate right now. But this is it. I get to focus on this plate right now. I don't get to focus on all of the other projects for these people. You know, I, this is my project. And I'm so thankful for that. And I keep reiterating that to myself. I'll breathe. And <laughs> this is your only job stuff. You're doing great. And I'm, I'm doing my own marketing right now, which is like, I'm struggling it's like, here, here's this awesome, you know, thing, but I'm having a hard time, like, getting going with it. But I, I'm getting to do my own marketing, and that was the main reason why I came over into this side. Like, like it's the dark side or something. But I, I, that was one of the reasons why I started with my last, well, actually, that company and then the company before that. Because it's like, I see the need. Like, you guys aren't doing anything. You're relying upon, um you know, word of mouth, which is cool, but it's super old school. And you could get to a lot of that younger generation if you were on social media. And so I would do it, but then it's like, here's your real job and it's like suffocating you. And it's like, okay, so when do I really get to integrate this? And now I do all the time. I can't so cool I can I and my husband's like please do because he's like I don't know what the hell you're talking about like you know <laughs> like showing him all of like the cool stuff and all the reports that I can do and he's like oh, that's cool he's just looking at like oh the graph is going up that's cool <laughs> but we had like a post that had reached almost like 10,000 people on one of our Facebook page for me small business that's awesome. And that's literally just, you know, sharing it to a few different web, you know, not websites, like a di different pages on there. And it just went, which is cool. Cool. Yay. And I get to see the needle move. And I'm that, that drives me to be able to see that. And so I keep focusing on the little wins and I get to be so hands-on. Like, you know, my my husband plays this game every day of what did I forget? He has ADD and he forgets a lot. God bless his soul. Every morning we play the game of what did you forget? And sometimes it's not a big deal. And sometimes it's a big deal. So I get to be able to, to, to save him with, with those things. Like he forgets something and I get to bring him to him. It's kind of like my mom in middle school when I used to forget my textbooks at home. Kind of like that. I betcha his mom did that. Pretty sure. And you know, like we're going to be prepping the boat and getting it ready for, for the season. And I had to take three days off from work last year to be able to do that. And it's like, Oh, it's my job. I can do that. I don't have to be like, hey, let me fill out this and do I have enough, you know, paid time off to be able to do that. I just do it. And that's cool. And it's, it's really hard sometimes to be able to see the good, which I'm telling you, I'm losing my shit most of these days, but I just have to just take a minute and look at it. And, and a lot of times, a lot of times it's my kids. My kids are quick 
and funny and just like randomest things at the randomest times, but they, they get me through it. And so I, I tell you with all of the hard and all of the difficult, with everything that you have going on, find the good. I promise you it's there. You just got to look pretty hard sometimes. I'm looking real hard. <laughs> I'm looking real hard. Like my board out there is just saturated with stuff, questions and customers and things, which is a great problem to have. Yeah. But I find the good. Because I have to. Because otherwise, all this negative is going to suck me down and I'm just going to be in a dark, dark place and it's not going to be good for anyone. Including, especially, not including, especially my kids. And they deserve a mom that shows up and is here for them. They don't deserve a dark, dark mom. In times of difficult in times of hard find the good cheers you guys <laughs>